Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on our way down at the Turks and Caicos right now in the Stock Baron, and we are going to get there at this descent right here. The the interesting thing about what's happened is that I have. I noticed during the flight that this thing killed my frame gen mod. So I'm flying along fat, dumb, and happy, and I'm thinking how unbelievably smooth this driver is. It's the 556.12 that just came out on Saturday, maybe? A couple days ago. And. I'm, I'm sort of shocked at the fact that I'm getting this butter, butter smooth performance without the frame gen mod. This, uh, this driver is fantastic. 122.8. Providence, Alice. Traffic, Baron, 5.8 Mike Romeo is 20 miles to the northwest inbound runway 10, Providence, Alice. And so I'm just, uh, I'm pretty surprised. Uh, the the flight was super smooth out of uh, out of Fort Lauderdale. I did the complete cleanup with this driver, and I also did a couple extra things uh, that I'll talk about as well here shortly. But the the departure out of uh, out of Fort Lauderdale was pretty heavy weather. I did it's about a three hour flight, and the reason I did it was to give the sim some time to recreate, uh, to rebuild the shader cache. And, you know, usually it takes a while, you know, half hour to an hour for the, for the shader cache to rebuild and the sim to, uh, to smooth out once you, if you, if you delete all the, all the shaders and everything. Uh, prior to the, prior to installing the new driver excuse my voice there for a second but this one was immediately as soon as we as soon as I loaded into the sim it was just smooth as can be I mean really really smooth and it wasn't until I got uh, closer down here, Providence Dallas traffic, Baron 5 8 Micro Wheels, a 10 mile final, Romeo 1 0, Providence Dallas. It wasn't until I got down here that I realized that the frame gen mod wasn't running. What it does, it, if, if you use the, the DLSS tweaks version, actually, I think if you use either way, um, you have to. It, it re-engages, if you will, the uh, NVIDIA protections Let's go uh, approach flaps And so you have to redo that. You have to redo that uh, part of the process when you redo, when you update your driver. 
and so when I did that we're coming in under the glide slope which is perfect uh, so when I did that when I updated the driver it, it undoes the, the NVIDIA checks registry edit and there's the glide slope And so that's how my frame gem mod got disabled. down, flaps are full, speed is 100, airplane is super twitchy. But I tell you what, this is literally the smoothest driver I have had in a long time. And I almost didn't do this because the last one was so bad. Uh, it was 555.99, it was just terrible. up to the glide slope here a little bit low. Beautiful approach here to Provincialis. Alright, there we go. It's a little bit better. It's unbelievable how twitchy this airplane is. It would be even better if... Uh, if I was on the center line, that would be really cool. That would really make this airplane, uh, really make this, this flight a whole lot more interesting. Alright, one way, three red. Alright, now I can drop that nose a little bit. This is gonna twitch like crazy in the, uh, in the flare. Control excuse for why I'm off center line though. Ah, not doing too too bad yet. aerodynamic braking to help us come to a stop um, and uh, I guess we'll get off on Bravo but I tell you this driver is unbelievable so like I said my frame gen mod is dead it is it is it, it does not it does not currently exist um, but the, the driver literally whenever you clean the cat clear the caches 
the DX cache and the GL cache. I did the computer cache. I did everything. It always takes a half hour to an hour of flying to get to get everything back. Bring the flaps up. To get the to get the driver running smoothly again, so it's got to rebuild the cache. We're gonna take we're gonna take a primary spot here in front of the uh, in front of the airport. But with this one, literally from the second I loaded in. It was just as smooth as can be. There's mixtures idle cut off. Let's go down here. I should have opened the cow flaps and I didn't. Uh, let's pull the parking brake. Alright, lights are coming off. Avionics master is off. Master and battery switch is off. So we're here, we're shut down. Um, Ever since we left, from the second I loaded in, it was just it was just butter, butter, butter smooth. I'm I'm actually shocked uh, at how good this driver is. <laughs> I'm because the last one, like I said, was just such a mess. Um, so here we are in Providence, Alice, and uh, I'm going to show you what you need to do if you update your driver and it. Um, and it uh, undoes the registry tweak for you. So, be right back. All right, here we are back on my desktop, and we can open up an Explorer window here. And then what you want to do is come to your DLSS tweaks download. And again, you've got these enable NVIDIA SIG override and disable NVIDIA SIG override. And what you want to do is double click the enable NVIDIA SIG override, click run, it's going to give you the warning, you're going to say yes, I've got my security software here which is going to ask me to, if I want to do what I want to do, and then I have re-enabled that, and then we go back into the sim, here we are back in the sim, Click on options, general options, and hallelujah, frame gen has returned. So I don't know if it's any time you update the driver. This is, I believe this is the second time in a row this has happened to me. So I'm starting to think that that is the case, that when you update the NVIDIA driver, that it's going to re-enable those signature checks, thereby disabling the frame gen mod. So have a look at that when you update the driver. My initial three-hour test on this driver is absolutely fantastic which i'm sort of shocked at like i said because the last one was so terrible so this is 556.12 if you're a, an early adopter type i would i would give it a shot i've seen two bad drivers in the last 10 or 15 like i've said many times before on this channel i i think the days of finding a driver that works and sticking with it for six months to a year are over that's my opinion you guys obviously need to make the decision for yourselves but that's my that's my assessment of this driver i think it's very very good and i'd recommend it so i hope you guys are doing well and take care